All right. Good morning, everyone. So it is Monday. We're starting this new practice, Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. I hope you could join. I will be recording this daily and then posting it on YouTube. Uh, the live classes are always available to by donation or pay what you can. Right on. Okay, so today let's actually start in downward facing dog. So wherever your position, my, my bad, you'll also probably need a block today. So just make sure you have a block readily accessible and come into downward facing dog. Best way to measure out your down dog is to come into tabletop first. See where your hands and knees fall. Curl your toes under and then lift your hips. Now it is Monday morning, so it might feel a little bit tighter in your body. Maybe you did some outdoor activities or, you know, maybe you sat and watched the Queen's Gambit all weekend. <laughs> That's, there's nothing wrong with that. So go ahead, just pedal it out. Ah, get some movement. You can even take the feet wider, just playing with different positions of the down dog. All right. Now slow your movements down. You start to feel how the hands are engaging. The chest is softening towards the feet. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale out your mouth, let it go. Take a breath in, come up onto your toes and exhale to let it go. Good, now bring your knees to the mat. So what we've done is we've just come into this little semi-inversion, get the blood flow moving a bit, come back into your seated position on the knees and we'll allow our breath to flow freely into the nose. So equal breathing, take a normal inhale, empty completely, inhale nice and slow for a count of four, Three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two. One, good, nice and slow, take a breath in. And a breath out. Allow yourself to breathe in a way that you're welcoming fullness into your body. And the process of change is inevitable and we will always be met with some sort of discomfort or resistance along the way. Now, instead of acting on what could potentially be negative, I'd like you to just retrain your thoughts, at least for this next 30 minutes, to choosing the direction that leads you in a positive way. So you can easily change your thought by acknowledging and seeing when a negative thought passes. As we start to move through this vinyasa and this powerful flow, you'll hear this little person on your shoulder talking in your ear that won't be me, but it's like you, it's your sound, your voice. Pick and choose your thoughts, they're your power. Take the shoulders up to the ears and then roll them back and down. Again, shoulders up, back and down. All right, come back into tabletop again. 
hands under the shoulders, and we're going to circle it out. So circle your shoulders right over the wrists. And then go the other way. Turn it around. Now that breath awareness might have felt a little bit different with the downward dog in the start position. Maybe you have more energy. Okay. Curl your toes under. Sit back onto your heels. Interlace your fingers behind you. Maybe the right thumb is on top. So just make note, right or left thumb, whatever it is. Big inhale to open the chest up. Now exhale, slide your knuckles over towards the right hip. Take a big breath in, sit up tall. And as you exhale, allow your right ear to drop to right shoulder. Feel that stretch into the side of your neck. Maybe you have some tightness from sleeping on your sides. Mm. Okay, come on over to the other side. Switch your grip, so change it up. Whatever thumb is on top, cross the opposite thumb on top. Take an inhale, sit up. Exhale, slide your knuckles over in the opposite direction. Big breath in. Exhale, drop. Left ear, left shoulder. Breathe. Notice how this feels in your neck. Mm. All right. So come back into tabletop position. Actually, you know what? Let's just come right into Lolasana. Bring your hands beside your knees, fingertips pointing towards the front of your space. Uncurl your toes. Take a big breath in. Now, as you exhale, lift your knees off the floor. Feel how the core needs to light up to really get the knees high. So let's stay here. Keep lifting up, rounding the back. Feel a protraction of the shoulder blades around the rib cage. Listen to your breathing. Stay here. Five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Roll out the shoulders. Roll out the wrists. Take a big breath in to interlace the fingers. Exhale, press your palms away from your chest. Round the back. Good. All right, now bring your hands back down to the earth. Now this time we're going to do the same thing we just did, only we're going to lift up one foot at a time. So take a big breath in. Exhale, lift. Lift the knees. Now take your left foot off the floor. Hold here. Ten. Nine. Keep looking. Eight. <laughs> looking for it. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, drop down. Good, roll out your wrists. Right away, come on to the other side. So hands come down. Take a breath in. Exhale, lift the knees. Good, now float right foot. Go for it, 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. This time, interlace your fingers, palms face your chest, take a big breath in. Exhale, press your knuckles away from the body, round the upper back. Shake out your hands. All right, make your way into downward facing dog, pedal up the feet. Get long through the sides of your body. Take a full breath and roll your spine forward, high plank. Feel your newfound core strength here. Might feel very different in this plank position. Press through the hands, press through the floor, fire up the glutes, lower the knees, come all the way down to your chest, nice and slow. Inhale, baby cobra, un unroll the toes. Exhale, lower down. Let's do two more baby cobras like that. Inhale, lengthen forward, lift. Tuck the chin, lengthen the back of your neck. Exhale, back down. Use your hands, pull your chest forward, lift. Belly to spine. Exhale, back down. Push back, tabletop, downward dog. Good, breathe in through the nose. 
Exhale out the mouth. Walk your hands back to your feet. Come to the very back of your space. Feet are about hip width distance apart. You can measure that out, maybe two fists width distance. Bend the knees, sit low into your chair. Reach your arms up. Powerful pose or chair pose. We're going to be here a few times today. So just notice how this feels. Let the blood from the arms move down into the body. Get a little bit lower into your seat. Knit the ribs together. Can you sit deeper into the chair? So just notice here, how does this feel to get deeper, meeting that discomfort or meeting that thought that's coming up in your brain? So how is this moving mentally as well as physically? And then choose which direction you want to go. Okay, get a little bit lower into your seat. Take an inhale. Now exhale, fold forward. Slide your hands underneath your feet. Bring your toes right to the creases of your wrists. <sighs> Parahastasana. Stretching out the back of the wrists. Shoulders lifting away from the ears. But we want to find that happy medium. So if you're kind of like really overactivating the back to pull the shoulders up higher, just try to find that happy medium. <sighs> Okay, second set. Let the hands come out from underneath your feet. Bend your knees, get low, reach your arms out, maybe getting a little bit deeper into your active squat or chair pose. So I always like to pretend like if you're, maybe you, you have, you're trying to like tap, tap your butt onto a chair. So just pretend you're trying to reach back, but somebody's being a jerk behind you and they're like pulling that seat further and further away from your butt, but you don't want to fall. You're like, whoop. So next time that ever happens to you, you are not going to fall because you've been doing this for about 10 seconds. Okay, take a breath in, get a little lower. Ah, straighten it out, reach up, fold, grab hold of your big toes with your Peace fingers, so your middle and index finger. Take a breath in. Exhale, pull. Elbows lifting up to the sky, or sorry, shoulders. But again, finding that happy neutral. Now I got these short little legs, so it's really easy for me to get my ribs onto my thighs, but it will also feel really nice to bend the knees so you can elongate the spine more. Feel that elongation, and as you bend the knees a little, you can even tilt your pelvis so that the tailbone lifts up higher towards the ceiling. Good, okay, come on up. This time, take the feet a little wider. Sit down low, reach your arms up. Work the knees away from the center line of your body. Stay with it, nice deep breaths. Feel the lower abdomen engage. Let's go here for 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands to the earth, set up for crow. Hook your knees onto the back of your triceps. Float your feet off the mat. Now, you can use your block. So as you, if you're new to crow, take your block, step on it, and play with floating one foot off of the yoga mat at a time, or sorry, off the block at a time. So the trick to crow is to keep your gaze forward. Keep squeezing through the inner legs, hold for as long as you can. If you need to come out, readjust. If you're wearing slippery pants, just keep squeezing. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Low squat. <sighs> Get into your breath. <sighs> Press the elbows away from the center of the body. <sighs> Good. Lift the hips. Crawl yourself forward. High plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. Pause, hold. 
Belly to spine, lift your hips. Downward dog. <sighs> Inhale through the nose. Exhale out your mouth. Good. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, knee to your right tricep hold. Stay here. Keep pressing the floor away. Good. Now step your foot beside the right thumb. Reach up, crescent lunge. Get a nice stretch for the sides of the body. <sighs> Big inhale as you reach up through the baby fingers. Sink a little bit deeper into your hips without arching your lower back. So if you find that the low belly is spilling forward, try to contain that energy. Bring it in. Think about your body as a container of energy. So we want to keep everything harnessing inward. So we're holding all the energy inside. Take a breath in. Exhale to bring your hands to the mat. Reach back with the right leg. Keep the right leg floating. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, lift your hips, downward dog. Good. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, knee to your left tricep. Hold, pause. Stay here, breathe. Keep pressing the floor away. Good. Inhale, back. Exhale, knee to nose. Step forward, come into crescent lunge. Inhale to rise. Come up on the exhale. Sink your hips down. Post down through the center of your left heel. Pull the left hip back, right hip forward, inner right thigh, spiraling towards the back of your space. Notice how this feels to have an asymmetric stance. So we've done a lot of poses today where there's symmetry from side to side. So just feel that sensation. Good. Keep rotating through the hip. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Float the left leg behind you. Breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Both feet on the mat now. Exhale to lift your hips. Down dog. Whew. All right, bring your elbows to the mat, dolphin pose. Grab for the opposite bicep just to ensure that the, they're a little closer together. Option is also to interlace your fingers. Get, get a little bit closer with your feet. So walk the feet an inch or two towards the elbows. Lift and lengthen through the low back. You could bend your knees too if you need to. Just notice the thoughts that are arising, the dialogue you're having with yourself, the only person in the room with you. Breathe. Get into that sensation. Keep stretching, lifting through the hip bones, through the bum bones. Stay with it now. Take your right leg high. Reaching up through the right foot. So we're always fighting the good fight. So we choose the fights that we have and where we can find progress and shift. So we're fighting the good fight. Yeah. Other side. Right foot down, left heel up. Keep lengthening, reaching. Now tap into that opposing force here. Feel the forearms press down and forward. Lift the left leg higher. Breathe deep. All right. Let the toes land. Take a moment in child's pose. Knees together this time. Hands beside your feet. Forehead to the mat. Let your shoulders round over your thighs. Breathe into your entire spine. <sighs> 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 
All right, come back into tabletop, downward facing dog. Look to your hands, step your feet to the outside of your hands. Get into active squat again. So bend the knees, have a seat, get low, reach your arms forward to counter the balance. Keep reaching here, holding for about 10 seconds or so. Now this is gonna be our next flow. We're gonna do this about two to three, not two, three times. We're doing three times. Yeah, so really reaching through, knit the low ribs in, open up your chest. Good, now lower your bum down nice and slow, hit the ground with the bum, lift the legs up, boat pose, Navasana. Option is to keep your legs where your hands beside your legs, or you can bring your hands behind you, creating a tripod with your sit bones and your two hands. So let's press the legs out to a low boat for 10. So 10, nine, pull in, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back up, press up. You could use your hands, come right into crow pose. Re lean the weight forward, lift up. <laughs> or crow as best as you can. Slippery pants often make a difference. <laughs> So crow it out here. Good. Take chair pose again, holding, reaching forward, active crow. You can pulse here now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly lower to your seat. Navasana, boat pose. Reach your arms back or forward, whatever works for you. Contain the belly, inhale, exhale, contract in, inhale, reach, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, rock forward, you could press up with the hands, come into crow, or your version of crow. My pants are very slippery. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> ah, play with lifting one foot off the mat or both feet maybe. So again, just working within your range. Good, last one. Feet come down, active squat. Sit down low, reach forward. We'll pulse again, 10. Nine, stay low, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Boat pose, come all the way down. You know where we're going. Knees up, shins up, find length, offer support. Inhale, go for it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, press forward, <laughs> curl pose. <sighs> Good, keep lifting up. <sighs> press the feet, hands in, sorry, press the weight into the fingertips, lift the toes. <sighs> Squeeze through the inner thighs. And release, feet come to the mat, ragdoll. Let the weight of your body hang forward. <sighs> All right. Make your way back into plank. Slowly lower all the way down to your tummy. Take your time. You can lower the knees if you like. Coming down, we land on the chest. Full locust pose. Reach back behind you. Interlace your fingers. Take a breath in. Exhale, float up. Reach through the feet. Reach to the crown of your head. Pull in through the belly. Lengthen your body. Come up high. 
<sighs> Good, release down. And again, take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale to lift, option, take the hands out from that bind, reaching through. And release down. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Push yourself back, child's pose. Nice deep breaths into your back. You can roll out your wrists while you're here. <sighs> All right, come up into seated. Swing your legs out in front of you. And then slide onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Massage your back. Rock from side to side. All right, take your right knee to your chest and then give yourself a little squeeze here as you pull the knee down. Massage the belly. Then take your leg up to the ceiling, turn your toes out to the right. Thread the needle, land your right ankle on top of the thigh. Interlace your hands on the back of your leg. Take a breath in, press your tailbone into the mat. Then guide your left knee to left shoulder. All right, change sides. So let the foot come down, then bring your left knee in. Take a big inhale. Exhale, squeeze the knee towards your left shoulder. Maybe a few circles. Stretch your heel up to the ceiling, turn your toes to your left, land the ankle, then reach left hand through your legs, interlacing either behind the thigh or on the shin, wherever's comfortable for you. Yeah, nice deep breath. Press your tailbone into the mat. Okay. Take a breath in, guide down, exhale. Feet come to the earth. Windshield wiper your knees from side to side. And then time to take rest. So if that's Shavasana for you, or if it's a seated meditation, you choose how you like to close your practice today. Yes, wherever you are taking rest, close your eyes. Let your teeth separate. The lips can be soft. Now, as we start our week with our best foot forward, notice the energy that you bring to the table. Uh, it's interesting to observe how our thoughts, they become the way that we choose to be. So our thoughts can be become our state. And then we have... The, uh, this effect on everyone else around us. Mm. 
Let that be your practice for the rest of your day, maybe your week even. Thank you all so much for your energy and for your time. We're back here again tomorrow, same time, 7 a.m. Thank you from my heart to yours. Namaste. Have a great week, everyone.